everybody out there in Fugland, you are tuned into KFUG 101.1 FM in Crescent City. And now we are being heard on KZZH 96.7 FM in Eureka and Humboldt in the great state of Northern California and beyond. I'm Jacques Kepner and your host for the next hour here in the studio on a pleasant it's sunny here at the studio, but the airport is fogged out. The entire coastline is fogged out, dense fog. As I drove out of the house about a half hour ago to head into the studio from the Lake Earl Wilderness area where I live, I was uh, I looked over my shoulder and where the airport is, about a mile and a half distant from the house, over the trees and through the woods, that is, I saw it was heavy, thick fog. So, uh, it's an interesting day, and I'll tell you why. It is Wednesday, July 31st. It is the last day of this month. Wait a minute. It it was just 4th of July last week, wasn't it? <laughs> has it gone by that fast? Oh, my goodness. Almost a month has eclipsed since the 4th of July where I had so much fun with Doc and other friends gathered at Annie and John's house on the jetty in the beautiful harbor area of the Brookings Harbor, um, mouth of the Chetco River, and we're able to watch incredible fireworks display, unlike the year before when we were first invited over there, and uh, it was <laughs> there was way too much fog that night. So 2023, July 4th, was fogged out, and they spent... You know, I don't know, hundred thousand dollars on who knows how much they spend on on fire uh, fireworks, the big mortars and all, but we saw nothing. Every once in a while, on some of the great big ones, we would see the sky kind of light up, maybe like the blink of your cell phone light behind two shower curtains. <laughs> it was just this muted nothingness. And all that waste and all that money for going up for nothing. Uh, I, I always thought when that happens, just put it back in the containers, uh, store it away in a dark, cool place far away from people, on a bunker maybe, and wait until next year. And then, like this last year, like last earlier this month, when the Fourth of July was spectacular, we were right up under the 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 fervent blowing fireworks that went over our heads. It was it was an incredible um, experience. But uh, you know how quickly does the time go? I mean, where does it go? How, how can time move so fast? And I think one of the things about growing older is time speeds up even more so. Okay, here's, a, here's one of my guests coming in right now. So you're going to hear Doc is arriving. I'll tell you about our other guest. But Doc is arriving. So here comes the door. The door is opening. He's walking in. There he is. Okay. It's Doc Bellardi. Come on in. Have a seat right there. I pulled up your microphone there. I'm just in the, my little prologue here. I'll just continue that. You're, you, you're acquainted with the area. You know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Silence your phone and do all that stuff. No swearing and all that stuff. Right. We know that. Um but it goes by faster than a jet plane. And as we get older, I'm 66, it just seems to be speeding up more and more every year. Are you like that too? I once asked the great physicist, uh, I had a, I lived with um, a Wilhelm, Wilhelm Hagen, the great brain, the father of the laser beam that worked at um, down there at the Livermore Lawrence Lab in the Bay Area. And he tried to explain it one time and he said, yeah, Jacques, he says, uh, when you're born, you have the whole pie. And as you get older, each year you take one slice out, and soon there is a very little slices left. And so it, that was his explanation. <laughs> I never did quite get past that much more in-depth thought of how time seems to speed up as we get older. But it, it it was adequate at the time. I wish he was still alive. I'd love to go back and knock on his brain and say, hey, uh, Wilhelm, what was what was that all about? Why is time just flying by? We um, we 
today we will be exploring, we were going to be exploring the fascinating world of aviation and its impact on our society, particularly in smaller communities, with two super interesting qualified guests. But I told you about the fog that was just uh, on my prelude there that I saw the the airport was socked out. I just got a text an hour ago or a call from the guest, uh, the president of Advanced Air and his business uh, operations uh, VP, Barb Hunt, who flew up in a private plane. And it was small enough and without the necessary ground detecting fog radar, whatever it might be, that they had to circle around. The tower would not give them permission to land in such a fog. So then they had to divert and go to Brookings, where it was crystal clear and sunny. But by the time they arrived and they were waiting for a taxi to pick them up and then escort, bring them down here to Crescent City and then get the rental car at the airport it was just not going to make it. So I told him, I said, I'm so sorry. I just, that's okay. It happens maybe for a reason that you are delayed in such a way. And so it will not be, uh, they will not be on the show today. Uh, I apologize for that. These things happen every once in a while. Like I said, just things happen. What can we, what can we say if those things happen? doesn't throw me out. But I do have a friend who just walked in the door to save my proverbial ass. And that is uh, Jim Doc. Everybody knows him as Doc. Doc Bellardi has just entered the uh, the K Fug studio to help me out, and uh, we'll we'll talk. He was on, as you recall, three weeks ago, I believe, and we talked th- we talked about all sorts of stuff, but primarily the 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 importance that we overlook, and that is the land and title and escrow business that we uh, all need at one point or another, or most of us do, and. I I had my eyes open. It was one of the better interviews I've conducted here on Jacques Talks, and I really enjoyed it. Doc and I become good friends. We meet up and we hang out together at the the uh, community or the Chamber of Commerce meetings and the get-togethers that they have at the various locations and businesses that are participating in that in the Crescent City and beyond area. Um, we have become friends, Doc Doc and him, Doc and Doc, Dr. Gigi and Doc get together and they pick on me from afar. <laughs> she, last week we were where? We were at the park, the Forest Department Park for the com, uh, the get together uh, Thursday night, I think it was last Thursday. And and uh, I, w- I was alone by myself hiding in a corner because I'm so shy. Doc and Doc were over on the other corner just pestering me with little comments. He was coming. Look at him. He's eating his 23rd plate of tacos. And look at look at that guy. He's, does he always slouch like that? <laughs> she told me what you said. And we laughed about it so hard. She has, as many of you know, Dr. Gigi has an incredible laugh. So we were laughing at uh, talking about Doc Bellardi. And so when he said, uh, yesterday he called me, he says, hey, I know uh, Levi Stockton and Barb Hunt, who are the, the executive brass at advanced air the the airline that is serving crescent city now now that contour has gone away uh they are serving it much better i believe i'm i'm happy with the service very happy when we've flown multiple times he said hey i know them i know uh levi and i met barb i'd love to come down and and hang out in the the studio with them i said sure come on come on down doc so see everything works out for a reason right all right so let me uh with that with that uh, with that intro, I'd like to introduce today's guest on Jacques Talks here on KFUG, none other than Jim, Doc Blardy. What's up, Doc? Hey, what's cooking? Oh, wait a minute. Let me put, it might be good for me to turn on your microphone. There we go. Now say again. Yeah, what's cooking? <laughs> uh, what's yeah, up, Doc? It, when I seen the fog this morning from my place on Pebble Beach, I said, we may have an issue. Yeah, right. And, it was uh, thick, boom. right? Yeah. As I drove out of the driveway, like I said, I looked up. It was crystal clear out there at Lua, Lake Earl Wilderness Area, but we're yeah. just literally in a mile and a half. And yeah, I looked, right. and I saw not just fog, but churning fog. Yeah. And I was like, holy moly. So, yeah, yeah so they were now unable. They, they flew. They didn't fly advanced air in. Yeah. Uh, Levi is a pilot, yeah. fascinating guy, 
super interesting fellow yeah. that founded the company and Barbara Hunt is is right hand woman that is just she is she's all there she's a great gal we've enjoyed their company and we wanted them on the air but they can't make it so that is the way it goes we never know but I do have you in the studio so you finally got my text right just yes a- I did and I I got stuck with uh, I had a power failure and got that squared away and then along with that because you have certain vendors on phones my phones are down so I'm going to think of plan B so I got caught up with a lot of uh, maintenance that happens and thank goodness uh, I, I know how to use my phone and had a quick bite and said oh, I better get out there right. and sure enough it I'm, was needed. I'm panicking. I'm sitting there. Yeah, that's why, because on my cell phone, my new horrible number, uh, if you've all got a pen and paper, you want to take down this number yeah. because you'll never remember it. My phone number to reach out to me to be on the show or reach out to me about show ideas, yeah. please contact Jacques. And my number is 415 608 1063. So when I got on my phone, I'll, I'll repeat that throughout the show. But as I got on my phone, I noticed wait a minute, where's all our text? All of our texts had disappeared. Yeah, All of our texts. It was gone. Me, yeah. So maybe it's back on there, but I don't know if you got my most recent ones. It was like, Doc, where yeah, are you? Where are you? Quick, yeah. and I'm hurry. Going, I'm coming. Yeah, okay. Then, yeah. Yeah, you, did. And then, and you got here just in time. Then I had some updates here that I can present and uh, yeah. some uh, little things I brought for you. Yeah. And uh, the team that couldn't make it. But yeah, it, cool. it's it's just getting, uh, just talking to people in general. I don't know if you're running into a Jack, but... We're, we're seeing transitions in companies and staffing that really makes it a little extra challenge of communication. So I'm glad yeah, we Yeah, you could know, come I miss my Apple so bad, and I had yeah. to give it up. And my phone number I'd had for 10 years, nonetheless, yeah. a 541 number, just about two months ago. And because uh, it was a long, it's a long story, but everybody was wiped out of this family plan because the lady that was paying for the plan, my aunt-in-law or whatever she is died uh tra- didn't die tragically but she died without it and we couldn't get in and they had to close it down and give us all a new one and i said forget it i'll just go get an android from cricket so i went up to up to um brookings and i got my cricket phone and it's an okay phone but it's limited maybe i should update it and pay a little bit more a month so that i have full data it has wi-fi it has wi-fi when i'm in a wi-fi area but it has unlimited text and and calling for fifteen dollars a month, and I thought that's great. Wrong, the thing has dropped and made me. Uh, it's it's made me. Yeah, I'm I'm going to go pay a little bit more and upgrade my my plan. Mm. But once I do that, then I should be on plan. But it's hard learning at my age, sixty six years old, to be learning a new Android system. You have an Android, right? Yeah, I have an Android. Yeah, I just got one about a month and a half ago, and it's so. still playing with me. But at least it's. You can work it out. Yeah, you have the nine that you and I look just like we have about the same phone. They're bigger. There's many, many uh, similarities between Apple and Android. Yeah, I think because what I think Android, I think they just copied Apple. So a lot of the copy is okay. And there are some perks. There are some weird things. Like, did you know that if you take, uh, let me get my phone here. If you take your Android phone and you hold it like you're in your right hand, like a tomahawk. And you strike twice. One, two. The light comes on. I did not know that. You don't need to go through. Try it. Yeah, hold like that. Just not on this one. <laughs> no. uh, that must be a feature you got. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now how do I turn it off? Hold on. Maybe if I shake it. One, two. Okay. You got to okay. give it real, real. Oh, that's not bad. See, okay. I have to do that. But yeah. Okay. We're yeah. sitting here playing with our lights, phones, as you can all see. Oh, there it is. But it was already on, I think. Yeah, but oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, it was yeah. already on. Okay. Now, give it real sharp. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't work. Okay, no. it does on mine. Oh, feature. you know what? I had to, I had to turn on that. I had to turn it on. It's one of the things. Go through phones and oh, settings yeah. and find uh, find light or whatever. And then it had a little thing. I had to slip over to the right, and then it came on blue. And it said, "Okay, now you're set up for that." There's little things like that. It's a bigger screen than my Apple. It's uh, easier to read because I I up the font to as yeah. big as I could get it. I think, which is weird, but. Uh, all said and done, I I miss my Apple, but I I'm, I'm going to have to be content with my new Android. So all those people again, my phone number for you to reach out to me, especially anybody down well, this area, all this area, this entire region of Northern California and coastal Southern uh, Oregon, uh, all the way down to to Arcata, Humboldt, Eureka. Please reach out to me and 
call me or t- uh, friend me on Facebook. You could find me uh, under J A C Q U E S as Jacques, and then the last name is K E P as in Paul N E R. Or you could call me and say, or text me and say, hey, I've got just somebody that's really cool doing amazing things here in our area. And would you be interested in talking with that person or that maybe it's you that I should be talking to? I would love to host you here on the k Fug studio in Crescent City today. Some part of it is foggy, but the rest is sunny. Uh, so you can reach out to me by calling 415-608-1063. All right, Doc. Who invented the first plane that couldn't fly? Uh, was it the uh, Wright brothers? No, it was the Wrong brothers. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, that came out. Doc, that, like that kind of. I didn't think it that way. Yeah, not the Wright brothers. The Wrong brothers. There you go. Uh, what do you call it when you are just sick and tired of airports? Late for lunch. Terminal illness. I like that one. <laughs> They're pretty good. I think They're we almost good. had it today. Okay, I'll, I'll leave the last one for yeah. for later. Yeah, we'll uh, as we have to fill up this. What time is it? Well, you have to yeah, fill up the shower. Uh, but we could do it. We yeah. could do it. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. said yesterday when we talked on the phone that you were going to come in and and besides me seeing uh, uh, Levi and Barbara, who you have met and talked sure. with and like, and they like yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, what was it? You were you something's going on at the harbor. What is going on? Yeah. Uh, good news. I went to the meeting a couple of weeks ago. And uh, was very pleased that they're going to go forward with a planned development for the harbor. A uh, gentleman I introduced him to just after that meeting had connected with uh, some of the commissioners and Tim, the harbor master, and uh, just in right away. If you want to read that, because you got the better You've voice. You've got a great big thing here. Yeah, okay. and it, it'll report. tell you who it's about. And I was very pleased to be uh, the introduction for this, and I. If you'd like to read that, maybe that'll tell you how exciting it's going to be. Wow, it says, so Harbor Master Patrick had an excellent meeting with Steve Opp from Creed, the commercial real estate development enterprise, and he expects to receive a proposal for the services to make a one-stop shop for making development dreams a reality. They help develop the greater image and draw from the community, community create plans and conceptual design. So but what are they thinking about doing? Just totally revamping the harbor? Yes, uh, they're a company I met about a year ago through an international group that was called Meet the Money, and Jim Butler is one of the biggest hotel attorneys in the world. Hotel hotels and wow. at alls, EB five programs, special programs that might work out good in this community because of our demographics. Yeah. So I met him. Uh, we hit it off. He's very soft-spoken. He works with the Disney Group, which was very positive. And hopefully, if uh, the, everything's right, we might be able to use that, I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, to give us some kind of a hook to have people stop and stay and get the uh, maybe the rides we need out there that can no bring No pun on. intended, the hook. Yeah, the hook. Yeah, no, the no it's, a, it's a fisher. Fisher type thing. So uh, we've been talking. I was very good here that that proposal has already been uh, submitted to Tim. And we hope to hear something here in the next few weeks. And I'm just happy that that's going forward on a positive note for the whole community and the world, hopefully. What's uh, an overview or a synopsis of what are they planning to doing? Can you tell us what you... Uh, basically, the redo, the docks, and everything that's in deep repair. Bring in retail and commercial shops, condos, so it can be revenue-driven that they've been much needed. I think right now we're in that position where opportunities to grow, which will help out all the communities right. here on. And uh, because we get a million and five cars coming through here on a regular I yearly basis, which is amazing. cars coming through yeah. here. So, and, as you, and most of them, I'm going to say a, a majority of them, I'm going to say maybe 60, 40, are coming from the south, coming up. Right. And their first impression of Crescent City is you come over that windy part, you you pass Last Chance Grade, which will new, now have a tunnel, yeah, right, right, within coming. five or ten or fifteen, yeah, right, whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. And you're going to come down the hill, the windy hill, the, through the mountains, and you come down and you finally see South Beach there. That's a great intro for people yeah. arriving oh. into Crescent City. They say, whoa, look at that panorama. In the distance, you see the city. Yeah. And as you come down, then the hotels start popping up one after another. Yeah. And then you turn left. 
you would turn left if you're coming from the from the south heading north you turn left into the crescent harbor area where the boats are docked and then there is some business back there there is crescent art gallery which yeah, is uh, right. i'll be a part which of i'm that on the board with are you on the board yeah i'm on the board there and the nice thing is they help out the community they do classes on the weekends yeah, for right. a to z and uh one of the gentlemen that's one of the participants there. I went to school with him in Alameda High. And, he and was this a, isn't Philip, is it? Yeah, Philip, yeah. Uh, Philip and so Wadsworth. Philip, I met his little dog, Hank, which is cute as a bug. He comes in the office and brings little Hank. And Hank always looks for his little biscuits. So I give him a couple of biscuits, and he's just as cute as a bug. So he's, he's excited about the opportunity. So I'm working with him. I'm trying to get them a foundation yeah. going to help them out because I think like any of there's some good things going on. And just like you, Jock, doing these broadcasts, very valuable to the community and can't thank you enough because hopefully we can get some uh, people like Steve to come in, give you a Steve play Washburn. by play. Yeah, Steve yeah, he's been here. He's yeah. been in the studio yeah. with me, but we didn't talk about, yes, yeah. we did. We talked about the gallery. Yeah, uh, right. He, he had, uh, Oh, several other artists with him, including that's the first time I met Philip. Yeah, I'd met uh, Stephen yeah. once before. So this is all good. Yeah, and it needs it needs it. it there's just not much going on there right yeah. now. Yeah. It's limited. Although I find more restaurants are open now than I have noticed before. I can't recall the if you go drive down by Jambalaya, which everybody knows, and then sure. there's the fish house behind it, that great big two yeah, story. Yeah, they got they got a lot of things potential, and the master plan is going to be excellent. Uh, I'm working with the grant writer throughout the country with the other things, the electrical thing, and things that are going to be beneficial for us. It's going to be a uh, improvement on a pricing, and this is going to open here because of just all the things that are going on in the world. People are on it, and this is global. So a lot of it's going to start here because of our win, uh, positive win up here. Uh, so it's a win-win situation. Yeah, it's okay. a win-win, yeah. And it's, it's not bad. I think, I think it's, I don't know, I, when you drive from the south, yeah. heading north, right. you see pretty much, it's not bad. Crescent City looks pretty darn good. I mean, it's, it's got the hotels place. you first enter. It's got the harbor to your left. Right. Granted, that would be a great eye candy attraction to yeah. get a big development in there to say, hey, look what we got. Because you got the seals out by the chart room, the restaurant. Yeah. You've got that point that goes out there. you got the some of the best views of the battery point. Yeah, nope, battery not point, battery point, but the, uh, the yeah. inland uh, lighthouse. Yeah. And do people have vision, which is good, and I think with the only way we can kind of do is improve what we got to the utmost to bring people. And that'll come with expansion of housing uh, because, like anything, uh, we've got a beautiful area. Yeah, we just we do. need to enhance it with the proper people that care about community. And they've done it before. So these are people that have done things internationally as well as they have 170 projects. Steve Ops and his group, they're very pros. I've met with them several times. And they're not there, but to see things improved, and yep. they work throughout the country. Nick and Rail bringing in the PPA, the Par Partnership for Performing Arts, a great yes. big forty-five right. million dollar building. They're putting yeah. out by the high school. We'll start attracting. It's a big event center. That's yeah. what it is. So suddenly, it's going to be hey, conventions in Crescent yeah. City. Why right. not? And I think the snowball because they're working with the Kaiser Group. Also, I introduced them to. So there's a lot of good people working together. It's just when the timing, and I think the timing's right now. For the future for this community right now the time is twelve thirty, so we're already halfway through the show amazingly how fast we can have fun here and even on a on a day where i got canceled the show canceled out and uh or that my guests had to cancel because of their airplane could not land in, at cec because of the fog we will get them back in the studio i talked to paul i felt bad about it and i uh, just said hey paul we'll have them in and maybe next time when they do come in have have the rebel voice possibly interview them they're interesting people. It is 11.30, uh, 12.30, pardon, uh, here on KFUG 101.1 FM in Crescent City and now being heard on KZZH 96.7 on your FM dial located in Eureka, Arcata, and Humboldt. So welcome all of you listeners in 96.7 FM. Uh, you're tuned into Jacques Talks, and I am Jacques Kepner, and your host for the rest of the half hour, interviewing and talking with my friend Doc Bellardi, who also is the managing owner of 
Crescent Land Title. Crescent Company. Land Title, and you could walk in anytime when you're downtown Crescent City, which is another thing we need to talk about about what is going to take to revitalize the downtown. But yeah. you're right on what what corner and what corner? It's going to be right on the corner of Eight Ninety Third Street, across from uh, Tri Counties and uh, Tsunami Company. And across from the Republican Party uh, headquarters. And just so down right from on the Paragon, corner and right up the street from Eden, Enoteca, you're right there. There you go. And yeah. also we have uh, Barry the Bear. It's a welcoming and Barry the Bear. He is, has been a, he's been a treat this last couple of weeks because of the 4-H little guys and gals coming in with their little their animals. Mascot. Yeah. And, and we're posting them. We should have posting coming up soon of some of the participants for this weekend. And it's been a treat. They're sharp as a tack, these kids. Yeah. And they bring up these pigs and chickens and turkeys. Oh, for the fair. For the fair, That's yes. That's right. We've got the fair going tomorrow. on right now, which yeah. opens tomorrow. I, I saw them, all the lights set up last night, and they were. Yeah. we, we noticed the, some of the, the, the Ferris wheel was spinning, but nobody was on it. That makes sense. They weren't opening until yeah, tonight, t- right? T- yeah, t- yeah, tomorrow night, I think, is the official. But they're sitting up. But, yeah, it's, I think we're going to get good turnout because I think uh, hopefully this weather clears up and we'll have a good turnout. But, uh, yeah, it's it, it's fun to see the gathering because we get them all over, yeah, which is exciting. True. Yeah. I don't go to fairs anymore. I just It's kind of honky-tonk for me, and I don't like big crowds anymore. But, you know, this year I might just stroll yeah. in there. Do they have a senior day? I wonder. Yeah, well, every day is senior day. <laughs> every day is senior day. Thank you very much. <laughs> Every day is senior day for you and I. We're seniors. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but uh, yeah, maybe in one of these nights when it's because I'm not going to ride the, the roller coasters or anything like that. Uh, uh, I don't want to be on a YouTube video. Wow, look at that yeah. roller coaster! That guy flew out. Look at yeah. him. We had it on on camera or on our phone. We caught it. Um, I but I may just go down there because I I would go down there for the fine uh, cuisine. Yeah, right. The good yeah. food. <laughs> Some like, of the best. Some nothing, of the best. Yeah, nothing like that. <laughs> kettle corn and their their cotton candy mixed up into a, a, a caramel yeah. wafer, whatever it is. Okay. Well, we may. If you go, I'll go, possibly. Yeah. It's supposed <laughs> to be tomorrow night. I'll give you a shout. Okay, good. Also, yeah. um, you can reach out to me here. i got to get back to the half-hour break, which we've now well gone over. Reach out to Jacques Kepner, K-E-P-N-E-R, on uh, Facebook and friend me. Or call me at 415-608-1063. That's 415-608-1063. And text or call me, and we can talk about how you may or may not be on the show or have someone that you know that's doing a noble uh, a cause in our community that's helping our community in great ways. Much like my guest here today, and the guest that did not make it, but they will come back, I assure you. They will be back on this air, and we will talk with the president and vice president of Advanced Air. Have you flown out yet on Advanced? Yes, I have a couple of times, and what I like is they almost like know you because we're here for the grand opening yes, and their arrival, yeah. and they're just very, very personal. Yeah, true. Uh, I think they fit the community good. They want to grow, which is excellent, and a good bunch of people. Yeah, they're a regional like airline, so they're yeah. a smaller airline, but they are now expanding there. I mean, they're coming across the city. They go as far, well, I'll find out today, <coughs> later on on KCIW. I think they go as far east as Utah. I'm, I, I think, think they're, they're sneaking in Park there. City or, in New Mexico, I heard. So yeah, they New Mexico, plans, true. Yeah. yeah, they do fly to New yeah. Mexico and Idaho. Yeah, yeah, so they got these regional, smaller regionals. They do fly down to Crescent City to L.A. twice a week. I uh, haven't taken that flight yet, but they do have the daily flights to and from Oakland, California, which gets us right into the Bay Area, to the thick of it. We're good. If you need to go to SFO, you walk out of Oakland International and you take BART. It's a $15, $18 uh, trip. takes you over the Bay, and you're in SFO yeah. within 45 Minutes, minutes. Yeah. It's a good – Gigi and I have flown multiple yeah. times, and we like it. And guess what they have in the morning? They, have, they offer you a, a refreshment. Yes. Okay, any refreshment you want. Yes. So, Gigi being a German, of course, I'm very shy, and I would never say something like this, but Gigi being the German, good German she is, she said, yeah, I can have anything in the morning? 7.30 in the morning. Of course, yeah. And Danielle, super sweet gal, she said, yes, anything you want. And Gigi said, you mean like a beer? And we all giggled, and Danielle said, yes, you want a beer at 7.30 in the morning? We'll serve you a beer. Mm-hmm. Well, not that Gigi, I won't tell if she took it or not. She, yeah. she actually did, but yeah. she drank it later. Um, it was it was just cool that they would do that. They are low-key, 
It's a quick flight, 45 yeah. minutes. 40, you're a good, good tail when you're in 40. Yeah, it was I mean, down there. A, you're up and down, yeah. Yeah, you, I was looking out the window. <laughs> yeah. I could see 101 being delayed to be. I could see these cars snaking along 101 and oh, going, yeah. you suck ass. No, yeah. I really didn't. That's okay. I've driven enough times. I'm so tired of that drive. Yeah. I'm done with that drive. If I, yeah. if I could help to fly, I will gladly yeah. fly. But no, it's, it's a great. I've enjoyed uh, Advanced Air. I flew Contour too. When yeah. Contour was yeah. here, they Did were okay. Also, yeah. yeah. So I guess they kept some of the people here in town, uh, the employees. All right. So getting back, we have, I wanted to bring up this. We're, you brought up this thing that they're going to be doing this new harbor expansion, uh, reshaping commerce as we know it in Crescent City. Yeah. At a very vital point when people first come into town yeah. or when they leave. Not far from that. Have you ever been to that museum, that shark museum? Or? You know, I know people who work there. I, I, I plan to do it, and I just... I haven't. Because now I met some of the people that feed the sea lions. and Yeah. I guess it's, it's received very well because everybody comes and talks good about it. Uh, I have not heard much about it. I don't know about it. I guess some locals, maybe a man, a doctor who spent a lot of time here in Crescent City, grow up here, wouldn't have more uh, uh, information on that. I don't know. Maybe she... Uh, she, somebody could tell us about what that's all about. But that whole strip there is very nice. And then you enter into the two lanes of going through the straightaway from M Street to up to the Home Depot, mm-hmm. where it then kind of begins to merge into the freeway 101 North. Yeah, that's right. all great. It yeah. actually is not bad. No, it's it not looks bad. good. We got so many things. We got Home Depot. We got Harbor Freight. We have Safeway. We have right. Walmart. We have. Multiple things, let's say, that our neighbor up to the north, um, uh, Brookings, they don't have. They just have Freddy's. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the new Chipotle should be opening yeah, that soon. New, yeah, that's right. The finishing Chipotle. up right now, the driveway. So. A lot of little uh, drive through restaurants. we got Inoteca. We've got Seaquake. We've got uh, Porta Pints or the brewery places in town and food food places. So it's getting better. Kind of slow, yeah. one step at a time. All right. That being said... As you're going on 101 and you venture too far off on either side of 101, you could run into some pretty less than savory neighborhoods uh, that I at least have experienced. Uh, We know where not to go, put it that way. And it is kind of, uh, you see a lot of, there's issues that every town has, but particularly it seems a small uh, rural city like town like uh, Crescent City it's just kind of, it's kind of, it's a little bit bizarre. But all the more, the merrier, the happier we could be if we can make our community sparkle with what? Good commerce, yeah. better restaurants, yes. more restaurants, yeah, more the merrier. Better downtown, and we're better, working better. on that. Okay. And that's why this group, uh, Creedy, is going to assist in bringing those ideas and concepts up here that are going to be beneficial for everybody. Okay, so you're talking about the harbor, but what yeah. about, I think we touched on this last time, down where you are in downtown mm-hmm. yeah. um, Crescent City, I'm not a harbinger of bad news, I'm a positive upbeat guy, but it's kind of lagging. The downtown, it's just, I'm, I'm going to say a third of the buildings are vacant. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think those are going to be addressed with uh, the transition coming. Yes, it is something that could be just a worth of, it's a bleep. Yeah. And you need to have something there. And I think the attitude is to build on it and to do it right. Right. Because like anything, uh, some of the, the owners are now being more, let's say, aggressive in their rents to assist. I'm hearing a little bit of that. But it's like everything. Once it gets going, I think, once they see the opportunities to make more revenue for their businesses... And know that people want to work together. I think it's all coming. I think communications has been one have been laxed, and I think now we understand if we work together, we can get more done. Right. This show, Jacques Talks, is really a non-contentious, non-political show. I don't care about the politics of, of my guest. Uh, what I have, my opinions, are to myself and the doctor, and the rest is all good. I and mean, I'm not here to pick a fight with anybody. But I have heard. A few discriminate, you know, not discriminatory, but but um, less than favorable things about the downtown commission or whoever it might be, the city, kind of like laying on, sitting on their hands too long. I have heard some old timers say, "Downtown went away with the tsunami." 
For good sakes, the tsunami was in what, 64, right? Yes. I mean, come on. Now, it's given, that's basically two generations have come yeah. along after that. It should be better. I would love to see some sort of revitalization in downtown. What to do, I don't know. They did do Front Street. Yes. So they made that nice. Yes. We went to the 4th of July celebration there. That was a big hit. Big right. It yes. had the stand, band stage oh, up. Stage major. was up. Biggest ever. And it had its pros and cons. But like I say, a learning positive curve of what they need to do to make it more, uh, let's say, advantageous for visitors. Because we had good turnout. Do Excellent. you know approximately how much they spent on the front street? Wasn't it astronomical? Was it like, uh, well, I want to say Oh, geez, 40? a few bucks. Million? I heard $4 million was four, starting point. $4 million and uh, yeah, a lot. Yeah, $4 million. Uh, I think and there's higher. still more development coming. And like everything, when you're getting this money from the government... Uh, it takes time to have it come through. Yeah, it has to filter down yeah, yeah, through all the sources. Yeah. Everybody has to line so up. Everything is, so yeah, yeah. Submit it, you show them, then you wait for the money to come. What do you think in 10 years, uh, Doc? What do you see? Where do you see downtown? Do you see it revitalized in 10 yeah. years? Yeah, I think I think that's a good conservative number because I think it's going to happen just by uh, people want to be here. You look at that water. It's, it reminds me a lot of Menoray and places you yeah, see you're right. and and I think like anything it, it's it's all going to come phones computers I think the growth of this because the new breed will come in that has good atmosphere want to see things I think some of the younger talent coming in it wants it because they love the ocean I'm hearing they might do surfboard uh, contest again just heard that the last couple of days right on they are having a longboard thing yeah, coming yes. up here pretty soon yeah, yeah and, and to me uh, we, you know, we mentioned to do the bike rides up here because look at the area it's built for like a European you yeah know, you're right it is beautiful so I think I'm trying to bring in maybe some opportunities with the golf because the PGA people they're big know. golfer, right? Yeah, so we it, got good it, golf courses, right? Yeah, well, you know, it, at the day I could say, yeah, I can get around and slump it, but yeah, at <laughs> at this time I just go out and say, make sure everybody learns something yeah. about the game, and it's another good hook I think they want up here. I would almost want to say it's going to take more than paint to make downtown look nice. I think eventually some of those buildings need to go away or remodeled in such a way as to make it more inviting, more. Homey, maybe with more, I, I just whatever it takes. Uh, there's people that know a lot more about this than I do. Putting the those kiosks out there full of flowers, or possibly even turning it off to to through traffic. Well, then you wouldn't like that. Well, you could still get to your place from the side side street, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like everything, a master plan would be advantageous for all. Uh, I think that comes with. Just revenue coming, revenue building. Yes. Uh, the different understanding that some people can take it so far, then you got to bring in people who have done it over and over that understand yes. everybody's got to win. Right. Everybody's got to win win. And yeah. then the, ultimately the community wins because it brings in jobs and economic growth and people from various, various backgrounds and whatnot will come in and it's, it will be more of a community here, I think, yeah. than staying cloistered. And kind of closed down and not being so open and just being content with, well, just don't say anything. Don't worry about it. The downtown's kind of dead. It uh, doesn't, whatever. I think Crescent City offers a lot of stuff, has yeah. so much potential. Yeah. And anybody that takes a drive along our coastal shores is blown away by it. I yeah. just, just recently and, and some tours. of the, yeah, you know, you know, just to touch on it, Jack, some of the people would just, you know, when you look at the corporate companies, they look at the demographics, what's the population, what's the traffic. And Chipotle coming up here, I talked to him a year ago. I met him a year ago down in, in L.A. at a meeting, Meet the Money, as I mentioned earlier. And Aki is a guy that does A to Z. He does hotels to business wow. parks. So he didn't come up here and uh, to fail. Chipotle has a good, uh, let's say, positive note up here. I think that that building's going to enhance uh, people, they got both sides of the one on one going true. north and south. True. That's true. And they're great, laying, great I think, location. the cement for the driveway today or tomorrow. And that's been a vacant lot, right? Yeah, it's been a vacant time. lot for years yeah. prior to me getting up here. And it was just a good hook. And uh, I think everything matched along with it. Then it might bring other people because we got an open door. It's just a matter of telling people you come up here, you'll yeah. do well. And and if you're a bad person, you do well too at the state at the at the prison, <laughs> yeah. right? Pelican Bay is right up the road too. Yeah. Yeah. But actually, it's it's kind of like the the little brother nobody wants to know about, but they're 
it's the big brother nobody wants to know about it right up the street but it's it's all good we have a diverse com- community here because of these stores because of these this wide range that brookings doesn't brookings has freddie myers yeah. and where else do you right. shop in brookings i don't know i don't yeah. i've lived there for three years unless you go to little mom and pop shops here and there right. there's nothing big so we have we have a lot of the shopping places here um, we have we even have a tent revival across the street from Walmart. Did you see that? Yes, I seen it. I was very impressed. Their last night is this uh, August second. I got to tell a quick story. When Doc and I drove by it, oh, last week, uh, and most of you have seen that big tent right across it. It says revival on it, yeah. and I said, she said, what's that? And I said, a revival? You don't know what a revival is? And she's German, German born and raised. She goes, oh, that's a political thing, right? And I said, no, it's a Christian thing. It's a, it's a born again, charismatic, Pentecostal, evangelical, uh, holy rollers up there. They should be. That's what I've seen in the past. So yeah. we did sneak in for, uh, we stayed maybe an hour. The other not too distant night. And it was, it was entertaining, the least, to say the least. God, God bless them. That's all good. It's all good. But it was a real eye opener for her. She'd never seen anything like that. Yeah. So you got only two more days. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll try to fit it into my schedule. Show up. It actually, it starts at six thirty. The first half hour with music, which is okay, and and then they have a fiery pr- local preacher that talks for fifteen twenty. I would say show up at about seven thirty. My personal opinion, of course. Yeah, only right, yeah, of course. show up at seven thirty and hang out for an hour because that's when you get to see. The dynamics of revival where they're laying on hands, they're oh, yeah. healing people, oh, they're yeah. doing all sorts of unique things that you don't yeah. get to see too often. Yeah, we we seen that a lot in San Francisco when I was a kid. Really, in the city, yes, they yeah. were, you can, it's, now it's you banned. Can, you know, yeah, you, you can't peek through the door and go, okay. Being wow, a, a Catholic big revival. And they tell you, it was kind of like you take a peek in there, and it was uh, everybody has a purpose. Yeah, it wasn't like the burlesque places on Broadway. <laughs> Big Owls and what were the other names? <laughs> Carol. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Carol. Yeah, yeah Carol. Yeah. Carol. Dear Carol friend of ours, yeah. Yeah, it's Carol. Yeah, she made a big impression. God. On. I mean, uh, yeah, it, it should be interesting. It it was, yeah, if you got a chance, go by. And again, I just would say if you want to have, have your mind blown, you don't have to believe in anything they're saying, but just it's an interesting yeah, yeah, take yeah. on what other people are doing. And they are very sincere about what they're doing there. So, I—that's what I would just—I would tell you. They don't—they're not hitting you up for too much money. Uh, they're not—they're not, they're not yeah. bar, 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 you know, saying, "Hey, you got to get in. You don't have to pay an entry fee. It's free, and it is entertaining." And the music wasn't bad. All right, moving ahead. So we got ten years from now, you see a lot of changes, positive changes, yes, yes. good things happening. Yes, I think I think like everything. I think what we see people that want to see expansion because it it spreads to everybody instead of the segmented we have now you know nobody's and i'm i think we're doing that we're going to try to get more communications and things like that so we can work together instead of opposite ends okay if you compare crescent city with brookings and i i don't want to harp on brookings so much yeah. even though brookings really doesn't it has a downtown right on 101 it's not the greatest. It's okay. It's kind of short. There's not much happening on either side of it. There is, but it's it's kind of in between. But there just has a cohesive feel that I at least I hear from tourists that that come and I show the town of Brookings. They go, "Wow, that's really a cool little town," and yet they don't have the sparkling views from downtown that you have here in Crescent City. Mm-hmm. They don't look out and see a lighthouse yeah. or two on a clear day. They don't have the harbor that you could just. Yeah, you have to go to harbor itself, across the bridge and head down to the water to go to the harbor. But it seems much more vibrant in in Brookings. Maybe it's the art galleries that are doing well. Yeah. Maybe. We have two art galleries here that I know, Crescent Harbor, out there where you're talking about. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, oh, oh, Second yeah. Street. I've, yeah, I've got a show in yeah. Crescent Street right now. Yeah. I'm in Crescent Street, yeah. which is open Wednesday through Saturday. Yeah. Uh, 10 to 4, 11 to 4. Um, but you have this area that's really cool that is unique in many ways, right. but it's just, it just seems underused. Is it? Yeah. I think Very much weather so. plays a matter. Is weather really? It's. I, th- I think it's like anything. They, they keep it very soft here and quiet. And, uh, and I think they just need a little bit of oomph to get the ball rolling because you can see. In a few years, I've seen difference because acceptance, understanding your 
you're doing good and try to do good. And I think it's just a matter of getting those fresh voices like yourself and, and Gigi, getting the word out and make it like, hey, it's okay to help one another. And I think that's coming. Yeah, I, I do think too. I see a lot of that. I yeah. do too. You know about James Kirk? Do you know uh, he yeah. owns a port of pints now? He's the optometrist. Yeah, he's, no, the, he's, he's very the, involved. He's the baby birther at the hospital. Yeah, Sutter Coast. He uh, is our friend, and he is the one that has bought POP, and he's the one that's expanding. Yes, right there the in harbor. front of England uh, Marine Supply Store yeah, in the right. harbor. Yeah, he's, so that's a big thing. That's a Putting big a brewery, hit. and and a lot of that's going to come, but they just needed some guidance. Because when things haven't done for a lot of years, what do we want not duplicate that didn't get us right forward? And I think that's coming. And uh, I agree with that. With the technology and all these good things, and people knowing we got to grow, we go away. I think with just Chipotle, Harbor Freight, I did that about three years ago to where that they did a nice update on that. Yep, center. They sure did. Yeah, uh, and it, you, you see improvement. What's going on with the Bank of America, the old Bank of America building? Uh, that's I know still has, up for grabs, but suppose they got art in there, which yeah. is sin. But I know Val that's Pollyanna. supposed to be converted. They're supposed to find another uh, art museum that they're going to move that. And it's beautiful stuff. Yeah, I mean this that's a that's a kind of a, a thing, and then you got Sylvia's yeah. down the road, and then kind of, yeah. and then you. But actually, if you go all the way down to Seaquake. And then work your way back. It's it's pleasant. It's yeah. it's inviting. And Paragon was good. I like Paragon. Yeah, they brought Paragon, in a kind of yeah, an right. industrial. Uh, the look now is that's a real popular look. The kind yeah, of industrial. You come in, you can talk and have coffee. Yeah, have and, your cup of coffee. And downtown. everybody uh, ponders there and hangs out there. So it's all positive, and that's just getting people back to be with people. Yeah. And uh, I think that's what we need more of because you know people are excellent here. They're nice people. It's just that. You know, to put your hand in there, you like to go with somebody. Yeah, true. So I think it, I think the groups are coming and the communication's coming where they want to see better. Exactly. We've got about seven minutes left. We're in the studio here with uh, Doc uh, Bellardi, who is the owner of uh, Crescent Land Title right downtown. We talked with him several weeks ago. I'd like uh, uh, Amanda Doctor just walked into the studio. Hey, Amanda. And she's here, and she's taken over in about five, uh, six minutes. And she's, I was listening to her, one of her Squirrel Interrupted programs the other day where she was talking about driving with no handlebars <laughs> on a bicycle. And she was saying, and then she put that song on. Who did that song? About? That's the Flow Bots. That's the Flow Bots. Okay. That was Ooh. good. And it was so cool listening to you re- uh, recalling your, your childhood growing up here. And coming down was it Cooper Hill, yeah, the Cooper yeah. Hill by the cemetery that yeah, kind of ends cool. up down at the bottom near the, the Home Depot. That was cool. That was a good. That was a good show. I enjoyed that, and it was fun because you've been here for a while. You've seen a lot of change, or maybe not so much change, but you've maybe I've seen a lot of change. You've seen a lot of change. Okay, there it is. That's right. Coming from her, and she knows best because she's been here a long time. Yeah. Uh, you came in what twenty eighteen, Doc. Yeah, 2020, really 19, but I was here in 85, 1985 originally. To this do is some a five year old kid. Dude. Yeah, right. so I was yeah. still a pup. But uh, it's amazing how you never think you'd be back and be involved. Yeah, and, and here you are. that's why you can never try to path your way. It just sometimes it happens for the better. Yeah. So hey, do you know who's up, up next for the Chamber of Commerce? Yeah. Who, uh, where are we at? Well, next, next Thursday, it should yeah, be. Yeah, I think we got some, you or, know. Or is it tomorrow? You could be right or wrong. Uh, there's a lot of things going on There's here. a lot of things going on, yeah. yeah. I Summertime, mean, everything. Yeah, gets. right. It's like you get the, uh, oh, you're going to go to that? Well, I got three in front of that one. Yeah. But, yeah, it's all good. You could sure. go to Del Norte, uh, uh, Del Norte County and Crescent City Chamber of Commerce, and right. our friend uh, our friend Cindy Vosberg has been yeah. on the air here with us yeah. a couple of times. She she can fill you in and, or find out on their website. Yeah. Uh, there's always a lot of fun. They're always yeah. welcoming. Those are great get-togethers. They are. Yeah. And and the good thing, I was just checking with them about a week ago, and they're getting anywhere from 150 to 200 visitors a day. Wow. At the chamber. Wow. And this and all, all across the world. And, okay, that's another nice building that they put up right down at the Front yeah, Street Park, right. right? So that's the one with the big stairway that goes up, but it's adjacent. It's in front of, if you're... Swimming. facing it it's in front of the pool uh, swimming pool area which is another nice building yeah and that, uh, that. just things I think we're going to try to get the word out to know people these are where they are because 
it's like everything. The more they know, and getting the population coming up here, right, from even Europe. Yeah, there's people sure. from Germany, Paris, you know, France, and because they want to visit the redwood trees, right. True, and That's I think the last, big, big you know, part. last Thursday we we seen what kind of a atmosphere they got going in the, it's, the forestry it's, department put on their know. chamber. And, and I mean, I was invited to take one of their walks so, with Wonder, wow. who had the mushroom hat. Well, oh yeah, I was. I did. I did not know they made those, but it was it was really funny because I got to wear it for a couple of minutes, took a picture with it. But she says, "Yeah, whenever you want to go on a walk, she does the tours." You took some yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, or are you yeah. illuminated? Yeah, the whole bit. <laughs> you were illuminated. He was yeah, mushroom. I'm illuminated. Yeah, yeah it's like <laughs> psilocybin mushroom. They didn't know. Doc didn't know anything. Yeah, oh, he yeah. drank the punch that had the yeah, psilocybin right, yeah, in it. Was, <laughs> but yeah, that was. Uh, but you know, stuff you learn because you hear about it, and then you don't know who's responsible for these tours. But we've got the biggest trees around in the world here. Yeah, we do, and it's like it's like the pyramid, the, the pyramids in Egypt. It's like there is something here that everybody knows about. You want to see the true wonders of the world? You come to this area, particularly yeah. has yeah, the big boys, else, yeah. Stout Grove and beyond. Yeah, you know it's funny. You go into Oregon, and literally this, this the road would stop. There's one little grove just north of Winchuck. Yeah. yeah, that's back there a ways. I saw it. It's. Uh, Kind of yawn. It was yeah. sort of. It's okay, but nothing compared to these monster, no. big, healthy, uh, yeah. great trees that we have here in our beautiful little pocket, in our or in our north coastal northwest pocket. Hey, come on in, come on in. Welcome to the Cape Bug Studio. Um, yeah, uh, Amanda Doctor is up next. Let's see what time is it. We got a couple minutes, Doc. I, yeah. I first I got to just I, I bow low before you and thank you so much for coming in um, on a on a quick quick thing. We've had an interesting hour. Yeah. I knew it would happen with you around. We were always going to have here, here. Somebody else is coming in right now. That's okay. Yeah. 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 There we go. This is KFUG. We do this all the time. We had we come and we go. Well, my goodness, is Ron Paul? Oh, and Vanessa. Oh my God! Hello, good to see you too. All right, peace and love to you. Um, we always have interesting people coming in and out of the studio uh, here at K at, at Fugland K Fug, and it would be good to see, to see you you two here walking in and uh, being back. Welcome back to the Fugland. I know you'll have a good conversation with Amanda. She's always got a good show. We were just talking about some of her prior shows from last week that I heard that was so much fun. She's been around town quite a bit. She's lived here a long time, so she's kind of a... She's not an old-timer by any means, but she's been around the town and knows it's it's where it's been going. Uh, Doc Bellardi, uh, I thank you so much for coming in and talking with me, filling it in. And are you okay. going to head on up to Yeah, KCAW? I'm going to head up to Brookings here. You're going to head up there? Be okay, part so of that. I got some mellow handouts. And okay, good. We will, good. We will get together with you in about... Uh, and uh, oh, we got just a few minutes here, yeah, so we uh, I will see you up there. We'll talk outside the studio. Okay, yeah. folks, that's it. Uh, you are tuned into KFUG one o one point one FM in Crescent City and beyond, and KZZH ninety six point seven in Eureka and Arcata Humboldt area. Thank you so much for listening to Jacques Talks here at this radio station. I appreciate everyone for listening. Thank you, Doc, and peace and love to everyone. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.